Hey everyone, I have Bradley from Helium 10. We are going through a series of videos here and he's giving us an introductory look at how to sell on Amazon, all of the basic steps and how powerful this can really be. Yep, and what, so what do we do in the first couple of videos that we did? This is video three of three, what were the, what were the first couple? Refresh my memory. All right, so we looked at the product research first, then we looked at keyword research, and now we're gonna take it to the next level. Yeah, so guys, if you haven't um, watched those videos, pause this one, open up a new tab in your browser or something, go back and watch those, otherwise you might be confused on this one, but uh, there'll be probably links below as well for those videos, but this is, we're all on the same, um, uh, we're on the same track here. What we've been doing since that first video is we found this like potential product that we could sell on Amazon picnic basket. Uh, we, we, in the first video, we showed you how to find an opportunity like that. The second video, how to do the keyword research. Now, how do we put that together to actually kind of start creating the listing? So let me share my screen here. And it's, I believe I should have it here exactly where we had left off. So what we had done was we found uh, the, some of the top keywords here that we know has a chance to drive sales. So what I'm going to do is I am going to copy these keywords to the clipboard and I'm going to open up just briefly in another tab here, Scribbles. Scribbles is our listing optimization tool and I'm going to paste it right here. Okay, these are phrases. I want to get them. This is something that has nothing to do with Helium 10, what I'm about to tell you, but it's about the Amazon algorithm. Amazon likes uh, things that are in phrases. It, it's kind of like, think about it as like it's sending relevancy or importance um, signals to, to Amazon um, saying that, hey, this is uh, something that is an important phrase for this listing. Uh, for example, small picnic basket. If I want to be indexed or searchable, I don't have to put it in phrase form if I don't want to. I can have like small in the title, picnic in the bullet points, basket in the description. And theoretically speaking, I will be searchable or indexed for small picnic basket. But when you include it in, in phrase form, like it's right there in the title, small picnic basket, it just gives way more indications to Amazon that this is relevant for this listing. So I put here the most important ones. Now, we have other tools here such as Magnet that we didn't really go into uh, that we can use for keyword research, but I'm just gonna open up, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna play make-believe here, and I'm, I'm just gonna open some of these up here uh, to some bigger numbers, and I, I just wanna find like, I'm just going really fast here, guys. I just want to find some kind of search here that's going to give me a few hundred keywords just so I can uh, give you guys an example of what we what we might want to do. So basically, I just opened up the uh, search, and um, I'm hoping that it's going to find me 200 keywords because what I want to do is I want to be able to put a whole bunch more keywords here right before I'm ready to, to do my product. So um, there, that found 156. That's kind of cool. So... I'm going to send this to Frankenstein. Frankenstein is our listing, uh, or I'm sorry, our, our keyword processing tool, keyword processor tool. As you can see here, it put all of those 150 phrases and it says, hey, you've got 479 words here. Now I know that there's not 479 unique words. How do I know that? Well, look here, there's basket here, basket here, basket here, basket here. So if you're curious, uh, how many individual words? Watch this, I'm just gonna click one button and it just made them all now individual. And now there's actually only 107 individual words that make up these 479 phrases. Um, I also want to remove the common words like the or of or things like that. And I'm gonna remove single letters, all right? There, so now let me put one word per line. Boom, look at that. With just like five clicks, I took this list of 500 words. I was able to weed out the duplicates, weed out the single words. Now I have every single unique word, and there's only 101 of them, that make up these uh, 156 phrases that I want to be searchable for. So that's pretty cool. I mean, again, if you didn't have a tool, I mean, I don't know how you would do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this list. And I'm going to go back to Scribbles and I'm going to paste it right here. So now what do I have here? I have got a list of just like a few phrases and then a list of actual single keywords. And why do I have this list? This is basically my list of keywords that I want to uh, include 
in my listing because you could do the best keyword research in the world. But if you don't have that keyword in your listing, are you going to be searchable for that, David? No, it'll come up on page, you know, one of the following pages, not necessarily right at the top. Yeah, or, or most cases, you won't even come out at all. And, 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 and that, that's the worst case scenario, which you don't want. Like, imagine if you didn't have Picnic in your listing, and now you're not searchable at all for anything that has the word Picnic in it. I mean, that's right. Uh, uh, for, for, like, David, we talked in the earlier videos, David was searching for a mouse, you know. Let's say he, the keyword that he decided to use for mouse, since he wanted a simple mouse, was uh, or a simple computer mouse. Now, all the listings that does not have the word simple in it, he would never have even seen any of those as an option. So, you know, not to say that he would have bought every single one, but at least there's a chance if it comes up in the results. So, super important to not only just do the right keyword research, but you want to get these keywords in your listing. So watch what happens here. I have the full phrases down here and I've got the single words here. Like watch what happens when I start making the title. This is where we kind of like a, a scratch pad or a, a, a scratch, yeah, like a scratch pad for your, for your listing. So I'm gonna say uh, picnic, I'm gonna go, hold on, small picnic basket for Two. All right, let me see, yeah, perfect. Now look what happened here. If you look down here, I only have one phrase up there, but Amazon can recognize any different sub phrases that are in here and so can Helium 10. So with just one phrase, I was able to knock out my top three phrases that I wanted to include in my listing in phrase form. Picnic basket, picnic basket for two, and small picnic basket. I was also able to knock out on an individual level three of my important keywords, picnic, basket, and small. So that's the way you make your listing. You write your bullet points, you write your description, and as you're doing that, you get lines that automatically get crossed out here so that you know all of the keywords that you have entered and that you haven't entered uh, yet. So that is uh, just an excellent way to really make sure that you have entered in all the right keywords. Uh, one other thing that some people forget to do is they don't always uh, do their competitor research. Like it's important to research your competitors that are similar to you and just see what people are saying about them. Like I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. This has 107 reviews and I'm gonna use the Helium 10 Chrome extension review downloader to, to just kind of see what is on people's uh, minds, okay? So I'm gonna extract all of the reviews, and with a click of the button, I'm going to see what are the top phrases that people are saying in the number of reviews, all right? And look at this, one of the top phrases here is wine glasses. Now, we're talking about picnic baskets. This is not a keyword. Nobody searches wine glasses, and thinks that they're gonna get a picnic basket. So this wine glass would never have come up maybe in, in your Cerebro keyword research with Helium 10. But if you're curious, why in the world is wine glasses like the fifth most common phrase in my competitor's reviews? Well, I'm gonna click this, and now every single uh, review from my competitor that said wine glasses, now I can see what was mentioned, it says, four included plastic wine glasses. Wine glass. Now, may, maybe I didn't know that this picnic basket included wine glasses. Now I can see that it does. And not only that, people seem to be happy uh, about these wine glasses. Um, so what does that mean for me? Well, when I make my listing, now that I know that people are interested in wine glasses, I'm gonna first of all make sure that I include wine glasses in my picnic basket set. And then I'm going to make sure to call attention to that in the images and in my bullet points that it includes wine glasses because I'm not guessing that it's important to the typical customer. I know for a fact it's important to the typical customer because I'm looking at my competitor reviews and that is like one of the top things that people are even talking about. So again, that's just another way that Helium 10 can help you and I guarantee most sellers are not doing. They're not looking into their competitor reviews to get ideas 
about things that could help make that emotional connection. So guys, in the last, uh, this three video series, I hope you can see that selling on Amazon is alive and well here in 2019 and 2020. You can absolutely find products. If you're using the right tools, you can find the best keywords. You can put all those keywords together, get your product out there, find interesting points to make an instant emotional connection with your, uh, with your buyers. Um, so again, um, first of all, David, uh, I know you've used Helium 10 a little bit, but I bet you haven't used that review downloader before. Have you, or have you? The review downloader is something that I tried out, but, uh, I'm launching a product right now and I'm, I'm getting into that. So all Wait. of those tools definitely are, uh, are going to be used because it's so important. I think a lot of people, they, they don't see this as a business because they don't understand how to utilize the tools. And that's the big mistake that people make. They're, they're not understanding, like when you see the bullet points on so many listings, the measurements are there, the material is there. This is not what you're supposed to do. You know, you're, you're, there's a certain steps to follow. And that's really what I love about Helium 10 basically fills in all the blanks. You know, they, they help you with each and every point there. And that's something that, uh, you, you know, you, you can't get around. Unfortunately, that's just the way the business is. What we're doing is we're leveraging the system of Amazon. People are searching on Amazon, they're typing in words. You want to come up for those words. It's not just about how many reviews, and uh, of course, that's one of the factors, but we want to give ourselves every advantage so that when we're starting out, we're going to be up uh, and try to rank for the highest amount of different types of keywords. And as you said right here, even misspellings and other mm -hmm. things that we, we could have found no possible way to have known that, but this is going to help us out big time. So I'm really appreciative. Bradley, thank you very much for coming on and, and uh, showing us what this uh, program can do. Yeah, so I appreciate it, guys. And make sure, again, uh, I wasn't using some special admin or developer mode of, of Helium 10. This is the same Helium 10 that anybody has access to. Every single one of you can do that exact same search, that exact same process. Make sure to check the show notes or, or the YouTube description down below to look for the coupon code so that you can get your own uh, access to Helium 10. And then also another thing, uh, I highly always suggest uh, education and you get tons of that education from, from David, but there are so much free education out there as well. Guys, make sure to take advantage of it. Maybe David, you too can put in the, in, in the description of these three videos, uh, our podcast. I'd love to have you on the podcast. We have a, a podcast that's the most listened to podcast about Amazon out there, hundred percent free. And I have a different guest every week uh, or twice a week, a different guest that talks about different strategy about selling on Amazon. Um, so uh, you can go to helium10.com forward slash podcast to get the link or just type in serious sellers podcast in iTunes or Spotify or, or Stitcher. There'll be links down below, but absolutely subscribe. And uh, hopefully soon I can convince David to come on the podcast and, and you'll be driving your car listening to the serious sellers podcast. You're like, wait a minute, that voice sounds familiar. So uh, David will come on and talk about uh, his uh, his story and, and, and YouTube. I haven't had somebody who, who really has been as successful at YouTube as David. So we'd love to have you on there. But guys, uh, uh, thank you for having me uh, on your channel, uh, David and, and everybody else. Thank you for watching. And I hope to uh, interact with you guys in the future. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone.